Human talent is one of the most valuable resources in the world. Unleashing that talent is the foundation upon which Captain Alden Partridge established Norwich University nearly two centuries ago. It is here where we experience profound intellectual, physical, and developmental change. It is here where the habit of deliberation and the critical eye is learned, and where skills and moral foundation are acquired to interpret and resolve human problems. It is here where we develop vision and purpose, not only to protect and defend the Republic, but also to contribute to its growth and prosperity with courage, conviction, empathy, and humanity. In a world that is noisy with information, confusion, clutter, and change, it is here at Norwich University that we learn to lead, to do, to be a force for good and human potential. It is here where each of us, in our own way, can find distinction. Growing up, a big part of my life was always playing hockey. My goal had always been to play NCAA hockey. I wanted to move on and play college hockey, be able to get a degree, get an education, and then also continue my development as a player, get another four years of playing a competitive sport, and potentially pursue professional options down the road. And in front of Stepchuk with a big save. Shooting one save by Stepchuk, and he's able to dive across and make a spectacular save. And so when I decided to come to Norwich, I made a decision for myself that I wanted to take advantage of every opportunity I had. We are the student team representing Norwich University in this big idea competition. So when they presented, here's a list of senior design projects you can apply to work on. And I thought the coolest one was doing a NASA mission. I thought, oh, we can design an autonomous and custom solar array for NASA that could potentially be used in future Mars missions. Like, I mean, it doesn't get any cooler than that. You kind of feel like Elon Musk. We got a nice little quote here from Buzz Aldrin. You know, Mars is there waiting for us, so why not go there? I know NASA wants to go there. All right, thank you, Norwich. You guys did a wonderful job. Thank you. When we did end up winning, which was a phenomenal accomplishment, and it's definitely one of the coolest things I've been a part of, that opportunity to go to NASA and present and be a part of a competition like that and learn so much was something that was facilitated by Norwich. So without having my time at Norwich, all these opportunities, they wouldn't have been there. And now I'm getting an opportunity through another Norwich connection to explore engineering in more of a hands-on and design role, and also a little bit more of a programming robotics perspective, which I think is very interesting, and I didn't know that that's something I'd be interested in. I still have a lot of goals of things I want to achieve in life for myself, and I want to put myself in positions of influence so that I can make a difference. A lot of my goals to be successful are so that I can get in that position where I can serve others. It's not so much about the recognition, but it's the ability to make an impact. I've completed 57 marathons, a marathon in every state and on five continents. The goal is to finish with Europe September of this year and then Australia, July 2019, and that will complete my seven continents. My dad, being a polio survivor, was never able to run, and so I run for him. I ran cross country for Norwich my junior and senior year. That was the base for my marathon training. Upon graduation from Norwich, commissioned as an ensign in the US Navy, and served four years active duty from 2006 to 2010. And I recently just graduated with a master's in marine science at University of Massachusetts Dartmouth. I'm hoping to extend what I'm doing now as a park ranger with the Army Corps of Engineers in another capacity, possibly environmental police or NOAA fisheries law enforcement. I'm a volunteer strength training coach at WeldStrong which is a new nonprofit in Falmouth on Cape Cod for those in recovery from substance abuse. I see the journey of wellness and fitness in other people and their desire to, to recover. The leadership that I learned at Norwich drives me to want to help others become and be more. I've always been a firm believer of lead by example.
And by being an example, you speak a thousand words in just one action. It, it gives me a purpose in life because I didn't accomplish what I had set out to do originally, but that's not to say that I can't make a difference while I'm here on this planet. I knew I wanted to join the military when I was very young, probably about 14. It wasn't until later on in my career when uh, some guys came on my ship and they didn't look like us, they didn't act like us. And I said, well, who are those guys? And one of my friends said, those are SEALs. As soon as I talked with them, I knew the job that they were doing. I said, that's the job for me. Once I became a SEAL, that mission changed to where I was on the front lines, the cutting edge, if you will, of national security. Regardless of what it is, we're just gonna embrace it, uh, deal with it, and know that it's not gonna last forever. They have that old quote, tough times don't last, tough people do. And so you just power through and then eventually you, uh, you become a SEAL. I'm the operations officer for the UDT SEAL Association. It's very fulfilling because I'm taking care of those that have served our country, some of who are my friends, but some who have served long before I did. So it's really nice to take care of those who have served. You have Medal of Honor recipients, Navy Cross recipients, Silver Star recipients, and then people who did so much but never were awarded those things, but should have been. To be in that company is amazing. That's why I love my job, taking care of those guys, making sure that they're well-respected, well-represented in the community. They are our greatest generation, and they are the legacy. Just like Norwich has Medal of Honor recipients, people who truly impacted our country. One of the things that I loved about Norwich when I was looking at going back to school is that it's been around for quite a long time. It's an established university. What was great about the motto for Norwich, I will try, is that I was nervous, but I will try. I will go back and try to get my degree. While I was pursuing my degree, I was also deployed. When you become a SEAL, uh, you learn never to quit. Did not want to quit on getting my degree. I wanted to set a good example for my daughter, but also I didn't want to quit on myself and I wanted to finish what I started. My career with NCIS started when we were the NIS, the Naval Investigative Service, back in 1989 and worked just about every type of criminal case there is, death cases, homicides, just the whole spectrum of criminal investigations and operations. And at that point, I took an assignment at headquarters on our cold case desk. And if there was ever a time where I will try came into play, whether consciously or not, that was it. Because we we're taking these unsolved cases, some of them 20, 25 years old, with no evidence, no witnesses that, that we knew of. And we had to start from scratch. So. When we resolve a case like that, you walk away feeling good about the agency and about the, the people doing the job in this agency. So my career kind of mirrors the four years at Norwich. You start out as a boot, you work your way up, you, you challenge yourself, you take different assignments and things fall into place. I'm currently the deputy director at the Naval Criminal Investigative Service. My job is to ensure that the operations and investigations across the organization are hitting the mark that is most critical to the Navy and the Marine Corps leadership. I find inspiration from the people I lead, whether it was at home, whether it was at Norwich, or here as an agent for the last 29 plus years. What Norwich did was expose us to those life lessons early on. I think my time at, at Norwich played a big role in, in where I am today, and, and how I lead today. I was a typical child. I wanted to be a gymnast because I grew up watching Nadia Comaneci and then I wanted to be a ballerina. And then I discovered those took a lot of hard work. <laughs> As I got older, actually, I knew that I wanted to join the military from about my early teens. It was my freshman year, or my sophomore year at Norwich, that sent me into the Navy. 
It was really challenging in the beginning. I was out of the norm for the Navy and certainly for the surface warfare community, and I thought I had to be tough. I had to be harder. I had to be more aggressive. And one thing I learned, it turns out that you can still be gentle. You can still listen. You can still be empathetic and still be willing to put warheads on foreheads. Challenge is what, what defines success. You don't, you don't succeed by not challenging yourself. You don't succeed by never failing. And I have failed spectacularly. And I think how you handle that is what helps you get to distinction. My fundamental advice to junior officers, and actually all of my sailors who come through, comes straight out of the rookbook. Figure out who you are and be that person and get the job done. The only thing I ask is that you don't make the same mistake twice. As far as being a, a female CEO, really what it means to me is being able to set an example and, and show, show folks that you can do it and you can still have kind of a life. So I want to be at home to play with my daughter for an hour before dinner and bedtime. And, and I'm senior enough that I have that opportunity, but I'm also senior enough to see that in my sailors and to make sure that they're taking that time for themselves as well. I haven't done everything right. I haven't done everything well. I have done everything with 100% of my heart and soul. It is part of the human condition to want to distinguish ourselves, to grow personally and professionally, to make a difference in our communities, our nation, our world. Today's graduates, armed with the I Will Try ethos, are directed by our guiding values as generations of alumni who came before. It is their purpose to shape history through time and space, to carry on Norwich's rich legacy of leadership and service, to reach beyond the stars and accept the challenge before them, and to achieve distinction on this planet or the next.